Welcome to A Rin channel and welcome back to Sheet Metal Course. The next thing we are going to look at is the joke feature. A joke is very simply just a combination of two edge flanges, so the sheet material gets offset and it makes a rough set shape, or see if you are speaking American, so it looks kind of like this. This can be used to stiffen the edge of a part or to make the edge slightly smaller, so maybe if we are trying to make a lid that fits inside a base, or if we are trying to join two pieces together with the flat outer face. In this video, we'll take a look over how we actually use the tool, and then in the next video, we'll show a more practical useful example. Open the part that we've been working with, and as usual, just delete all of the features apart from the base flange. So I'm going to delete this hem feature. So we've just got the base flange, that's 100 by 200 millimeters. The chalk feature can be found on the sheet metal tab. Here it is, and a chalk always starts with a sketch. So if we click on the chalk feature without a sketch, we get this message here on the left. We can either choose an existing sketch, or select a new face or plane to draw the sketch on. Let's select this upper face of the base flange to draw a new sketch. So if we left click on that, now we are drawing a sketch on that flange. And we can tell this because we've got this exit sketch icon in the top right corner. I'm going to go to a normal 2 view. Remember we can press the spacebar to open this view menu. So now we're looking directly down on the top of the base flange. Then select the line tool, and we're just going to draw a standard line down the base flange from the top edge, vertically down all the way down to the bottom edge. Something like this. And then I'm gonna use the smart dimension tool, and I'm gonna set the distance from the edge as something like 20 millimeters. So now this line is going to set the position of the bend of the choke. And if we exit this sketch, we'll go straight into the choke feature. Now we've got some options on the left. The actual choke feature hasn't been created yet, until we set some of these options. The first thing we need to do is select the fix face. This is the face that won't move when the choke is added. So make sure we're in this box at the top on the left. And then select this large left hand area. And we should see that some kind of preview appears. If we look at the choke from the side, we can see that rough kind of set shape that I mentioned. And if we look more closely, we can see those two offset edge flanges that I mentioned earlier. So we've got first one here, and then immediately afterwards we've got the second one here. And if we go to a side view here, we can see that even though we've got the extra material in the band here, we haven't actually lost any length at the end. So in this case, the jog feature actually adds material in the band area. As usual, there's many options here on the left. We can change the direction of the jog here, whether it's going up or down, just by pressing this button. We can change the cap here, and we can change how the cap is actually measured using these three buttons. The small pictures on the icons show us exactly what's being measured there. So this first one is from the top of the base flange to the outside of the chalk. The second one is from the top of the base flange to the inside of the chalk. And we should see that the chalk move up a little bit higher there. And then the third option is the overall size of the chalk. So it's from the bottom of the base flange to the top of the chalk. So we can choose whichever one we want, it's really up to us, and I'm just gonna stick with the first one for now. If you don't want to add any extra material to the band, we can actually uncheck this fixed protected lined box. So now we should see, we've got a little cap at the end now. That's because the extra material has actually been used up in the band. And as we switch between the different cap options here, we should see that the length of the extra part of the choke changes, because the length of the band changes. So we can fix the length or not, it's really up to us depending specifically on what we are trying to create. We also can set the choke position here. And again, the icons tell us exactly what's happening. So on the first one, we have the pen center line on the sketch that we drew. This one has material inside the sketch, and we can see it changed slightly in the preview. This one has the material outside the sketch. And then this one has the entire pen outside the sketch. So those are pretty standard options throughout sheet metal. So as usual, whichever one we want to use depends exactly on what we are trying to achieve. And then finally we can adjust the angle here. We've got two 90 degree spans at the moment. One here and one here. But we can easily change this for example to 60. And now we've got two 60 degree bands here. And if we press OK, the choke feature is created. Underneath the choke feature in the feature tree, we've got the sketch where the choke started, and then we've got the two actual choke bands. So this covers the actual theory of the feature. And to quickly recap, 
Joke is a fairly simple feature to use. All we need to do is draw a sketch where we want the joke to be. Then select the joke tool. Then we just need to set the fixed face, the type the joke we want, the exact position, and then the angle, and also the cap offsets. In the next video, we'll take a look at how we can use this in a bit more of a practical setting. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like. I hope it can be a little helpful and useful.